Next up is Elite Four Bertha. Well, well, I see you returned, dear child. Looks as though you've grown more confident since the last time we met. But don't forget, with age comes the power to shake the earth and a force of will that can split the ground beneath your feet. Let this old lady show you what a little life experience can do. And how many puns she can pull off in one dialogue. So here we have Lead 4 Bertha, team of 5. And her platinum team leads with a Whiskash. Well, we know it has Ice Beam. We know for a fact it has Ice Beam. We, we've encountered this before. So I'm not gonna let Torterra go down this time because I feel bad about constantly letting it die. We'll switch into Empoleon. Because Empoleon also has Grass Knot. Well, not also. Torterra doesn't have Grass Knot, but it has a Grass type move. So we're gonna tank this Ice Beam. We're gonna. Uh, you. Uh, okay, well, less than ideal. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna use Earthquake. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna full heal. Bastard. sucks. Let's try this again. Ah, it's got a... Uh, Rindo Berry, I think? Yep, Rindo Berry. And it's gonna KO... Ooh, no it's not! This is pulling as a badass. This is for your Ice Beam hacks. Which I know is more fair than what's happening with uh, my little affection thing, but... <laughs> and Torterra's joining the se level 71 group, finally. Gliscor comes out. Is Gliscor faster than Empoleon? Well, when I have Quick Claw, it doesn't matter. Goodbye, Gliscor. <laughs> nice. Empoleon goes to level 72. Love to see it. Golem comes out. And I think it has Sturdy, so Empoleon is probably going down here, but before it does, we will use Grass Knot. Get another Quick Claw activation. Yeah, it has sturdy. That's okay. Earthquake will take down the Empoleon, unfortunately. But it wasn't in vain. Empoleon did work on this team already. Now we'll bring out uh, Infernape because this is about the only opportunity Infernape will have to shine in the match. And we will hit Golem with a Mock Punch. Never mind, Bertha's gonna use a full restore. Block Punch is still good because we get rid of the uh, Sturdy. And now we can hit it with a close combat. And the Golem goes down. 75 for our Togo Kiss, and a Hippo Down comes out, which is something we really cannot touch at all. The only thing we can do is damage it a little bit with Fire Punch and hope for a burn. A crit, but no burn, and unfortunately this is the end of Infernape, but fought valiantly, so we are definitely thankful. Let's bring back Torterra. And we will hit Hippodon with a Woodhammer. Goodbye, Hippodon.
A little damage, a little restoration. Team levels up, or grows, and... The Ace comes out, which is now a Rhyperior. And we are going to hit it with a wood hammer. Adios. Nice. That went well. Team grows. That was quite something. Your youth gives you a confidence in battle that can't be shaken. No matter how the world shifts, you and your Pokémon will always be sure-footed. You're steadier today than all the days before. Thanks. And now we, uh, heal. So, let's bring back... Holion. Let's bring back Infernape. Alright. There we go. And we're heading on to the next chamber.